Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thank you so much for checking in. I'm over here on Matthew's channel, Alaska Bushcraft, and we got together to do a collaborative video. Now, the topic of this video is gonna be summertime survival tips. And it couldn't be more on point than today. Um, Matthew, as you know, if you're watching his channel, he's up in Fairbanks, Alaska. So how you're gonna get ready to go out on a day trip, a hike, a camping trip, a backpacking trip is gonna be a lot different than down here in the Southwest. Uh, today I'm gonna to be talking about the Southwest and how to prepare to come out here and have fun and not be a statistic. Just today alone, we're out here filming YouTube videos. I'm with fellow YouTubers and we've seen uh, two fire engines go by and paramedics. So obviously somebody is injured either with heat stroke, sunstroke, and uh, or heat exhaustion and you just got to prepare for that so we're going to cut away and i'm going to go over my top five tips to help you prepare so you can enjoy your day trips out here in the woods tip number one you want to start early days like today are going to get extremely hot quick so the earlier you start your hike the better my personal opinion would be you start at sunup or close to sunup. That way a majority of your trip is complete before the sun hits high noon because once you hit that 11 o'clock to two o'clock hour, especially down here in the Southwest, it is gonna be extremely hot. And if you're in an area that you are just exposed to the sun, that is just gonna be an appetite for destruction. So rule number one would be start out early and be able to finish your hike early before it gets too hot. Number two would be shelter. Now, a lot of people don't think about it, but your clothing is your shelter. Yeah, today we have a tarp out here to protect us because we're out here doing a little bush camp, having fun. But if you're out on a hike or a backpacking trip, you definitely want to wear clothes that are not gonna absorb heat, uh, especially cotton, where cotton is gonna be uh, just soaking up sweat, you're gonna be chafing, and it's just gonna be nasty. Uh, if at all possible, you would wanna wear a long sleeve shirt, definitely light colored materials while you're out here. You definitely wanna wear a hat, preferably a brimmed hat to uh, cover your face and just stuff that will protect you from the sun and the harmful rays of the sun, especially most important sunglasses. That is one of the most underutilized pieces of kit that are out there. So your first line of defense would be Starting out early, your second is wear the proper clothing. The third one is hydration. Now, most likely the emergency service vehicles that went by out here in the woods, and we're in a remote area, they probably had to respond to somebody who didn't hydrate properly. On a day like today, it could get over 100 plus. And if you're hiking, you can lose up to a liter of water an hour. That is huge. So you need to plan accordingly. You always want to bring more liquid than you think you're going to need. Even on a short hike, we've already had one fatality this year. Locally, a person on a day hike last weekend, it was moderate temperature, high 80s, overexposure, didn't bring enough liquid. So make sure you're taking your sodium, potassium, electrolyte drinks and hydrate properly. Bullet point number four is rest. I know that a lot of folks want to go out and they just hard chargers. As soon as they hit the trailhead, they're like in a sprint to get to the summit or to get to their destination. What you want to do, especially on an extremely hot day, is to slow down. The last thing you want to do is overheat, you're out in direct sunlight, and there's no way for your body to cool down. So I would recommend every once in a while, at least every 30 minutes to 45 minutes, stop for 10 or 15 minutes, open up your shirt, take your shoes off, let your feet air out and recover. And then you'll live to hike another day. Now, number five is to check the weather and you should always leave a hiking plan with somebody that's reliable. And what I mean reliable of whether it's your mom, your dad, one of your friends, somebody who knows you 
and your pattern. Leave a plan, leave it with them, where you're gonna go, what trailhead you're gonna be at, and the approximate time that you're gonna be back. That way, if you say you're gonna be home by eight o'clock at night, and it's midnight and you're not home, well, that's a red flag now for somebody to inform search and rescue and for them to start affecting a rescue. Because when you're out here in extreme heat, extreme cold, especially at elevation, we're at 5,500 feet here. Weather can change really quick. So having that hiking plan and knowing the weather is paramount. That's just five basic tips. We're just hitting the tip of the iceberg when it comes to planning an outdoor adventure. Obviously a lot more goes into that, carrying your 10 essentials like the Boy Scouts would carry and such. But having a plan, staying hydrated, wearing the proper clothes, knowing the weather, it's just going to make a more pleasant experience while you're out here in the woods and it could make a difference between life and death. Folks, I hope you found this video helpful. Check me out on my YouTube channel, Wingman115. I want to thank Matthew for having me on his channel, and I look forward to seeing you out in the woods. Take care, folks. You have a nice day.